Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Mary the Farm Girl. Today we are looking at truck driver jobs in Canada, NOC code 7511. For truck drivers, you need work experience, but you can apply when you are outside Canada. If you are currently in Nigeria, Philippines, Kenya, or India, or any other country in the world, the employers I will highlight today are hiring truck drivers from all over the world, so stick around till the end. The applications are also free of charge and you can use these jobs to become a permanent resident in Canada depending on the province that you're going to be hired in. I know you're wondering, what about the work permits? Yes, these jobs require temporary foreign workers with work permits through a job offer to apply for the jobs. I know you value your success, therefore kindly subscribe so you will be the first one to know when I post job opportunities like this. Remember, so many people are looking for this job, so you want to be among the first ones to apply as soon as I upload a new video. So according to the Government of Canada, a truck driver is a transport truck driver who operates tra heavy trucks to transport goods and materials over interurban, urban, interprovincial and provincial routes. They are employed by the transportation, manufacturing, distribution and moving companies and also the trucking employment service agencies or they may be self-employed so you can also go to Canada and employ yourself and become a truck driver. What are some of the duties of a truck driver according to the government of Canada? You will be driving long-haul transport truck then you're going to be operating and driving tractor trailer long combination vehicle and straight body trucks weighing over 4,500 kilograms to transport goods and materials over long distances. Planning, trip, logistics and obtaining required documentation to transport the goods. Performing pre-trip, en route and post-trip inspection of vehicle systems, equipment and accessories such as tires, lights and turning signals brakes and cold storage you're also going to ensure that cargo is secured properly accordance to the safety requirements and follows safety procedures for transporting dangerous goods you should also obtain special permits and other documents required to transport cargo to international routes you should also administer bills of landing and manually or electronically maintaining log books and you should communicate with dispatcher, other drivers and cons customers using communication devices or onboard computers. You should also perform emergency roadside repairs and you might also be required to work as a car driver in case you are a two-person team or convoy. So you may also transport hazardous products and dangerous goods depending on the company that is going to hire you. So one of the things that I would like to highlight at this point for the duties is most of the companies that are going to hire you as a truck driver, you're going to be responsible to transport goods from Canada to the borders of the United States of America or you're even going to go beyond uh, the borders, especially if you have a visitor visa so what you should do if you have a visitor visa then you are at a better place to go and work in canada because most employers they hire people with these kind of visas because it makes them it easier for the employers to send you from canada to the united states and back so if you have visitor visa for united states please include it in your application form so let us look at the requirements for employment so what do you need for you to be hired as a truck driver or a transport driver in canada number one you have to have completed secondary school education then you need to do on the job training after you have been uh, hired you need to have an other job training with your provider the next thing that you need to do is to complete an accredited driver training course of up to three months duration through a vocational school or community college which may be required for you to qualify fully as a truck driver in canada the other thing that you require is a class 3 or d license then 
you need a class 1 or A license to drive long combination vehicles. The class 3 or D license is to drive straight body trucks. You also need to have air brake endorsement Z, which is required for drivers who operate vehicles equipped with air brakes. Transportation of dangerous goods, TDJ, certification is required for drivers who transport hazardous products or dangerous goods. Additional licensing endorsement or certification may be needed based on the articulated trucks that you're going to be operating while in Canada. So these are the things that you should prepare for if you are currently outside Canada. You should get those classes. You understand what is class A, I mean what is class 3, what is class 1 and what are the licensing that requires. So some of the professional certification and licensing documents that you require based on the location, job title, regulation and regulatory body are for example, in Alberta, you will need an oil and gas transportation services. In British Columbia, you will need driver or oil and gas industry. So you will be working in this kind of industry. If you are uh, targeting to work in Ontario, the places that you can work in are propane truck. As a propane truck uh, operator, you can also work as a tractor trailer commercial driver. And you can also work in cubic which are where you are going to be working as a line truck driver and a truck driver. So these are regulated job opportunities that can be able to hire you if the employer sends you the job offer. So generally, the things that you require for you to go and work in Canada as a truck driver are one, work experience. You have to have work experience before you apply for the jobs in Canada. So if you do not have work experience, please kindly look for a job or do anything that you have do, to do, including uh, volunteering so that you can have the work experience before you go to Canada. The, the, the second thing that you require for you to go to Canada and work as a truck driver is to have a job offer. This is where the employer sends you a letter inviting you to go and work for them. That is the second thing that you require. And remember, you're going to be traveling to Canada or migrating to Canada as a temporary work worker. So you need a proof of funds. Funds that are going to sustain you during the time that you're not going to be paid. Because remember, you're not going to get paid in advance. You're going to be paid after getting the training, after getting the licensing, after getting the job now working for a period of at least one month so during this period you need to show that you can be able to sustain yourself in canada so you have to show a proof of funds the other thing that you require to have is english or french education or languages so you have to understand french or you have to understand english either of them or both if you can so once the employer sends you the letter, it is going to help you apply for the work permit, which is now going to allow you to migrate to Canada. Because remember, one of the points uh, in the application process is for you to show that you have a contact person or a tire. This is going to give you more points in the process of immigration. So for you to get a higher point in the immigration process, you have to show that you know somebody in Canada. Because in majority of your cases, I know most of you, you do not have anybody you know in Canada. Then you need the letter from the employer and then you're going to say he or she is your contact person. And you're going to pass all the points for the contact or tire person. The other thing that is going to increase your chances of getting hired in Canada is if you have a, a visit visa to the United States. It is an added advantage because mostly you will be moving goods from Canada to the United States and vice versa. But if you do not have a visit visa, it's not a must because sometimes uh, they operate in such a way that they are going to give you the goods you transport to the border of uh, Canada and the U.S. And then somebody from the U.S. is going to take the goods from the border to the designated uh, location. We are going to look at how you should send your application 
what you should consider putting in your application in my next video. So look out uh, for that. And the skills, the specific skills that truck drivers should be having, uh, you should have as a truck driver so that you can be hired in the Canadian work environment. Remember, you can go as a visitor so that you can uh, look for a job while at in Canada, but if you do not have a visitor visa or you do not have the money to go to Canada as a visitor, make sure that the application you're going to send, if you're going to be sending applications, send at least 10 to 15 applications in a single day. Ask yourself this, how many people are going to be applying for these jobs like you are? There are so many people that are looking for this job. So how do you increase the chances of you getting it is if you try this employer, another one, another one tomorrow, another one, another one. And it is not an, a hard process because this is the same CV that you are going to be using. So you can send, you can designate, for example, two hours in a single day. You say this is the time for me to look for a job and then you're going to be sending these applications according to the available jobs in the job bank website and then you set as many applications as possible so there is this uh, person that got hired in from kenya and this information i got from J joyce case canada so joyce k canada thank you joyce k nas canada for sharing this information with us because indeed you are educating us so according to her this person got hired after sending 300 applications so you can imagine how many how long it took him to send the application and how many application how much patience he had for him to send the 300 application which finally got him a job uh, offer from an employer and he was finally hired so guys continue sending the applications don't tire believe in yourself you're going to make it and i know you're going to find the job of your dreams in canada so next time you're going to look at the skills that you require for you to ha get hired in canada the salary for a truck driver in canada and uh yes that is it so until next time guys remember to subscribe like share and comment bye bye